Hello everyone, in this INR number 56, we are going to discuss about migraine, another important topic of headache. So here, migraine is commonly seen in female as you can see from these two pictures. Females are commonly affected and what will be the presentation? Unilateral, one side unilateral pulsating pain. So unilateral pulsating pain will be there and they will have nausea and vomiting along with phonophotophobia and or phonophobia so then you can they will be having feeling of nausea and vomiting along with phonophobia and photophobia so these are the things which can be present in this along with unilateral pain they may have aura also and migraine with aura how you will understand what are the types of aura patient may have they may have a flashing lights like you can see here flashing lights are there or they may have a jig jack these are the aura presentation or maybe blind spot maybe tunnel vision maybe geometric shapes maybe a uh, shimmering or you can say flickering or maybe a temporary blindness so these are the various seven types of the you know uh, migraine with aura which we can expect in your patient right so what will be the duration of the uh, migraine duration usually it is ranging from 4 to 72 hours which you will see in the uh, you know uh, classific diagnostic criteria of the migraine also so in pathogenesis of the migraine it is very important that it is because of irritation of cranial number cranial nerve number five right cranial nerve number five it can be irritation of meninges or blood vessel a very important thing blood vessel why because when blood vessel will be having irritation or inflammation they will start releasing vasoactive neuropeptides and who are these vasoactive neuropeptides substance p and one of the very important is calcitonin gene related polypeptide which we call in short c g r p why i am saying <coughs> because when you will treat the patient that time you will use some pharmacological agents which will be targeting this calcitonin gene related polypeptide right so we will discuss that later on so let us focus on the simplified diagnostic criteria of migraine what is given in harrison latest edition on this page number it says that it should be having repeated attack of the headache remember repeated attack of the headache for how many hours 4 to 72 hours in those patients remember these patients will be having normal physical examination and they will be having no other reasonable cause of headache so it means repeated attack of the headache the person will be normally physically and there will be no reasonable uh, you know reason for the headache for this patient so along with this they should have at least two of the following features so what are these two features uh, at least two of the following features means out of these four there should be two so what are these four features unilateral pain throbbing pain aggravation by movement moderate or severe in intensity plus they should also have one of the following feature so out of these four two should be present and out of these two one should be present along with this finding will be simplified diagnostic criteria of migraine so what are these things nausea vomiting photophobia or phonophobia which i have shown you earlier in this slide right treatment of migraine so I, i'm just referring from the harrison it's a very big table there are four tables which are very big one so i just try to you know uh, summarize them up so in harrison what it says that mild migraine attack you should give oral agent severe migraine agent uh, migraine attacks you should give parenteral therapy so mostly whatever drug we are using they are under five categories so number one remember the number one is nsaids number two and drug of choice will be five ht1 b and one d blockers so these uh, you know uh, sorry five ht1 b and one uh, d receptor agonist these are the these are the treatment of choice actually drug of choice we should say that five ht1 b and one d receptor agonist and what are these these are the triptans so sumatriptan example is sumatriptan then as i said you remember when blood vessel were irritated they were releasing cgrp calcitonin gene related poly polypeptide so it is important to inhibit them so that is why we are using 5 cgrp receptor antagonist which are called as gipatans so what are the gipants so gipants are remegipants and ubrogipant so these are the two important drugs which are cgrp inhibitors then we will use 5 ht1 f agonist see it was 5 ht1 b and 1 d agonist which were triptans and now we are using 5 ht1 f 
receptor agonist which are called as ditans so these are lasmi ditan right so lasmi ditans and dopamine receptor antagonist like a metoclopramide and plochlorpromazine right so these are the important treatment from the harrison so keep revising these topic best wishes for your exam